this is quite exciting part of the field and uh, cabozantinib and tivantinib have been reported at ASCO uh, 2012 uh, to show an improvement in outcome uh, specifically cabozantinib has shown a quite impressive improvement in outcome in second line setting with the median survival of 15.1 months and uh, the tivantinib uh, uh, story kind of evolved around two items number one for the first time we have seen that CMAT expression as a prognostic factor where the CMAT positive patients will do worse than the CMAT negative but interesting enough when you come to treatment the CMAT positive patients given tivantinib they doubled survival compared to the placebo from about 3.8 months to about 7 plus so clearly there's plenty going on in that regard I think uh, uh, I would not be surprised uh, this not necessarily has been officially announced but I wouldn't be surprised that two drugs will move into phase 3 trials in the second line setting and we'll see where this will take us one of the critical elements uh, would do you consider these to be evaluated as part of a uh, enriched population of CMAT positive only versus uh, just all comers. Uh, I would say probably there will be a uh, uh, quite intelligent discussion that will continue going on in the academic world uh, because on one part yes this does make sense from the Deventinib uh, story as I mentioned it but on the other hand these are multi-kinase inhibitors and you don't want to undermine the other effects that they might have and frankly as we know even CMAT expression is not being validated so far to know exactly what it is does it mean? So uh, I think uh, directions will differ and uh, some might take the CMAT enriched approach and others might take general commerce.